Amputation refers to the surgical removal of a body part. The psychosocial impact of amputation often surpasses the physical impairment as individuals may experience emotional distress, body image concerns, and adjustments to their daily lives. There are two primary categories of amputation. Elective amputation is planned due to medical conditions such as severe infection, tumors, or vascular diseases that compromise blood flow to the limb. This proactive decision helps prevent complications like sepsis and metastasis. The client is involved in the decision-making process which aids in emotional healing and acceptance. Traumatic amputation results from accidents or severe injuries. Traumatic amputations can significantly impact an individual's ability to cope with the loss due to its unexpected and immediate impact on their life. Amputations can be classified based on their location in the lower or upper extremity. Lower extremity amputations include toe or partial foot amputation, ankle disarticulation, below knee amputation, and above knee amputation. Upper extremity amputations include finger or partial hand amputation, wrist disarticulation, below elbow amputation, and above elbow amputation. Following the healing of the incision site, a client may receive a prosthesis to aid in mobility and function. Several complications can arise after an amputation, including hemorrhage, infection, phantom limb pain, and flexion contracture. Hemorrhage may occur during or after surgery due to inadequate closure of blood vessels or clotting disorders. Infection, characterized by redness, swelling, tenderness, purulent discharge, and fever, can result from contamination during surgery or wound care. Phantom limb pain is the sensation of pain in the amputated limb, a common neurological phenomenon. Flexion contracture occurs when the residual limb remains flexed for prolonged periods, reducing range of motion and leading to muscle and tissue contracture. Nursing assessment of clients post-amputation involves monitoring physical, functional, and psychosocial aspects. Physical assessments focus on wound healing, signs of infection, and skin integrity of the residual limb. Functional assessments evaluate prosthetic fit, muscle strength, joint stability, and limb coordination. Neurological assessments check for changes in sensation and the presence of phantom pain. Psychosocial assessments gauge body image perception, self-esteem, depression, anxiety, coping mechanisms, and social support. Common diagnostic tests for clients who have undergone an amputation include Doppler ultrasound to assess vascular status and blood flow, as well as monitoring hemoglobin and hematocrit levels for signs of anemia from blood loss. Medical interventions after amputation include rehabilitation, wound care, and pain management. Physical and occupational therapy are essential for prosthetic evaluation and rehabilitation, aiming to help the client regain strength, mobility, and independence. Wound care may involve vacuum-assisted closure or specialized dressings. Medication therapy includes pain medications and antibiotics to manage pain and prevent infections. Nursing interventions focus on monitoring for complications and providing health teaching and psychosocial support. Nurses routinely assess the vascular status of the residual limb and monitor for signs of infection or skin breakdown. They also evaluate the client's mobility and consider their home environment while implementing fall precautions. Health teaching topics include wound care, positioning to prevent contractures, and proper use of assistive devices. Prone positioning helps prevent hip contracture and clients are taught how to wrap the limb to prevent friction and blistering. Psychosocial support involves therapeutic communication to help clients express feelings about limb loss and discussing coping strategies, along with providing referrals for counseling and support groups. Evaluation of interventions involves determining if the expected outcomes are met within specified timeframes. If outcomes are unmet or partially met, the care plan is revised. 